We've been through the similarities between the free version of Asana and Apple Reminders on the iPad. If you've not seen that video, we'll have a link to it in the description down below. In this video, we'll be going through five ways Asana is a better app than Apple Reminders. Like we mentioned in the first part of the series, we're comparing the free version of Asana because Apple Reminders is free. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. You can use either app on your Mac, iPad, iPhone, or in any web browser online. Unlike Apple Reminders, Asana also has native apps for both Windows and Android. Apple's web-based Reminders app is awful. It lacks some very important features, making it unusable. But Asana's web app is fantastic, more so than its mobile apps, in fact. Asana syncs across all your devices, independent of the operating system. Whereas Apple Reminders keeps you within the Apple ecosystem. You can quickly create new tasks in either app, but Asana makes it easier to add more details to them. With Apple Reminders, you can either swipe to the right or tap the inspection icon to add more details. Both are two step processes, whereas in Asana, everything is more accessible. In both apps, you can then add due dates, time, and repeating conditions for recurring tasks. You can add URLs, but Asana packages them better. You can add tags. You can flag your tasks. Apple Reminders has a smart list for your flagged tasks, which makes them easier to access. But Asana doesn't have this feature. You can also attach different items. Apple Reminders only supports images and scans. But in Asana, you can add any file. You can also set the priority level for your task. Both apps have the same levels, low, medium, or high. In both apps, you can add notes, which you can format to make them bold, italic, or underlined. Also, to organize them more, you can add bulleted and numbered lists. Apple Reminders also lets you add dashed lists, which you don't get in Asana. Your formatting options are easier to access in Asana, and you can also do more with your notes. You can strike through, add headings, indent your lists, add separating lines to organize your notes, and you can link people, tasks, messages, teams, and projects with the at icon to quickly navigate different items in your project. For creating tasks, Asana also has the following features, which you will not find in Apple Reminders. You can manage projects to save your tasks to different projects. One task can belong to multiple projects, and you can easily remove them from those projects. You can create follow-up tasks and get task updates which tracks changes made to your tasks, keeping everyone on the team updated. In both apps, you can collaborate on your lists. In Apple Reminders, you can allow your team members to add other people and enable notifications for new or completed reminders. You don't have this much control in projects on the iPad version of Asana though. You can comment on tasks and projects in Asana to discuss ideas with your team. 
When you forget to send a message that you are writing, you'll still find it when you get back to the task, even if you had closed the app, which is a very useful feature to have. You can format your comments like you do with notes. You can also use stickers for quick replies, add attachments, and tag your colleagues. Long pressing a comment lets you do the following. You can pin it to the top or unpin an old one. You can copy the comment, copy the link to the comment, which copies all the details about the commenter and the task, which is great for collaboration. You can also either edit or delete the comment. You can like tasks and comments in Asana. It can help sort your tasks by the number of likes they get. Discussions are the backbone of collaboration. They make it easier for teams to work together, and this makes Asana a much better app for collaboration than Apple Reminders, which does not support commenting. In Apple Reminders, collaboration is limited to assigning tasks to your teammates. You will need a different app for your discussions about the tasks. It is not a convenient setup, especially for big projects. You can create lists in Apple Reminders, but projects in Asana. In Apple Reminders, you can name your list, pick a color, an icon for it. Long pressing a list lets you pin it with your other smart lists in the app, see its information, Share the list to start collaborating on it. Manage lists to either add more people or remove people from your collaboration. You can also delete the list. Creating a new project is also fairly simple in Asana. You can name the project and pick a layout for it. You can then add members, up to 15 people for the free version of Asana. You can add sections to break down your project into smaller chunks. You can also select the fields to show on your list to quickly get useful information about your tasks without opening them. A project can have different statuses depending on how well it's going. Members of the project are notified each time the project status changes. But it's not easy to update statuses though. It's a bit of a hassle. Apple Reminders doesn't have this feature. You can't update the statuses of your lists. In both apps, you can view your tasks in lists. It's the only setup you can get in Apple Reminders actually. Asana also has board and calendar views. The board view is one of our favorite views, which we use to track our tasks and how we're doing using different sections like to do, work in progress, or done. Updating task statuses is a breeze when using a board. The calendar view gives you an overview of the whole month. You can easily see dates with tasks, and upcoming ones below the calendar. Asana displays the details of your selected task on the right side of the screen. The setup is intuitive and easy to navigate, and we love it. Apple Reminders and the free version of Asana are both good apps for managing your to-dos. However, if you're working with a team, you need to use Asana. It's excellent for small teams to collaborate on different projects, and you can work with up to 15 people for free with the freemium version. Its multiple views and support for multiple operating systems makes it the go-to app when you want to work with other people. Apple Reminders is better for managing personal tasks. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, make sure you stick around for the third part of this series. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.